morning yellow lines were passing through And I don't know where I'm going But I know what I'm telling you I'm Bill Dex. Here I'm part of uh, Dex Drugstore History in Girard, Illinois. And I'm his brother, Bob Deck, and uh, we're brothers as he mentioned, and uh, we uh, are the third generation that, to have the pharmacy here. Our grandfather started it in March of 1884. Well, our, our grandfather uh, was actually a, a school teacher, lived out on a farm west of town, taught at uh, Lynch, or at uh, a school, school one-room school, and then had the opportunity to buy uh, an existing business from a man by the name of G.A. Post, and so it was in our family then for three generations, 117 years. And our dad put the soda fountain in here in 1929. The soda fountain is still here, still functioning. It's a nice, uh, true soda fountain with a nice back bar, and it's. Uh, quite an attraction here yet today. It's part of history, a soda fountain. So uh, we, my brother and I, a number of few years ago, decided, well, let's just see what we have uh, uh, left over from our grandfather's day and our father's day, and it developed into this uh, museum. We get visitors from uh, everywhere, actually, because Illinois Route 4 through Girard is early Highway 66, and so we're getting visitors from uh, all over the world, actually. Uh, just last weekend, we had people from several different countries. And As he mentioned, we do get uh, people, tourists, from uh, traveling Route 66, Historic 66. And he mentioned that we did have them last week from Hungary, and Norway, New Zealand, and South Africa. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> people come in and they reminisce all the time. People who uh, used to come in here as customers and then are our employees, we had through the years a great number of employees, they enjoy coming back and having sort of a reunion time and talking about, do you remember when, do you remember this, do you remember those events and those people and so on. And with the soda fountain here, that was quite an attraction for these people. Uh, if we made it, uh, it was quite a, Saturday night was really a busy night for us and if we made it home by midnight, why we did well. <laughs> My job was standing up at the soda fountain washing dishes. And <laughs> And then we always had to chip our own ice. We had blocks of ice that we had to chip her by hand, had to chip by hand in a wooden bucket and haul it up here and kept one busy just chipping ice. We always, uh, at the soda fountain, we made everything by hand. The uh, cherry Cokes, chocolate Cokes, lemon Cokes. We were fa flavoring Coca-Cola before Coca-Cola Company ever started offering cherry Cokes and such as that. So my favorite's a chocolate ice cream soda. Same, same here. We used to make our own root beer uh, batch in the back room on a kerosene stove in a big kettle. And, uh, and then we served root beer at the soda fountain for five cents a glass. And we just sold gallons of root beer. Mm -hmm. People and, loved it. And once a year we would have all the root beer you could drink for a nickel. A special. It's <laughs> a, a special. special day. I don't know, but some of them overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they headed for the alley. <laughs> well, there was in track, we had a very nice uh, ladies that had behind the soda fountain, and this one fellow would come in and sit, and uh, he'd have a Coke and make it last for hours. But he had a she was the attraction, and uh, but they, they did marry, and uh, <laughs> so, yeah. and lived here and had raised a family. So uh, that happened a couple of times, didn't it? Sure, our, our soda fountain was a matchmaker place too, <laughs> and, and a, lo a loafing place for uh, kids from school. And we had we had booths in here. We had some tables, and we had about six wooden booths back here where they could sit and. Uh, it, they were filled a lot of the time, and people would sit there for a long time just with a, a small drink, and just so they could visit for quite a while. They'd make it last. Make it last. <laughs> yeah. so. They come in here regularly every Tuesday afternoon and every Friday afternoon. We have a group of about 10 or 12 who meet and sit at those tables, and they visit and they sit for two or three hours visiting on Tuesday afternoons and Friday afternoons. So. Is still a gathering place, and the town needs it. Our city of Girard needs a gathering place, and this seems to be it. Oh. We're glad to provide it. <laughs>